Hey guys, uh, back in October, I released a video about how to install Windows 10 on a Chromebook. And that video is doing pretty well, all things considered, way better than I actually thought it would. It's got almost 50,000 views on it, which I'm pretty stoked with. Um, but I've noticed that there have been a rec there's been uh, several recurring things that have come up and I felt I needed to address them in a video so that I can start referring people to, well, I guess this video um, to try to make all of our lives a little bit easier. So let's go ahead and jump into the notes that I've got over here on this screen and we'll talk about a few things that, again, have been recurring themes uh, in the comment section and, and actually other places as well. So uh, first things first, um, I'm not Google. I'm not the creator of the BIOS that's used to modify your Chromebook to make it uh, so you can install Windows. Uh, and the reason I bring those two points up is I don't know if your Chromebook is compatible. Um, in the comment or in the description of, of the videos, uh, there's actually a couple of them. Uh, I give resources where you can go check for yourself. Uh, I'm not going to do that. I, I, I stipulate that in the in the in the description itself of I will not tell you if your Chromebook is compatible. Now that still holds true, and it always will. Uh, there are too many different variants of Chromebooks out there for me to know every possible combination of everything that's out there as to whether or not it's compatible. <clears throat> but um, if you have an ARM processor in your Chromebook, the answer is no. Uh, it won't work on your Chromebook. Uh, at least not the the method that I'm using won't work. Um, there may be other BIOSes out there. Uh, there may be versions of Windows uh, that support ARM processors. That's not these videos. These are about Intel processors and Intel processors only. So um, let's, if you don't have an Intel processor, either watch the video knowing you can't do this or just move along. Um, yelling at me isn't gonna fix it. I can't, I can't help if your Chromebook has an ARM processor. The other recurring thing that comes up is uh, hard drive space on a Chromebook. Um, and whether or not Windows 10 will fit on your Chromebook. So I'm just going to go ahead and read this directly from my notes here so I don't screw this up like I have a couple of times already. Uh, the 32-bit version of Windows 10 requires at least 16 gigs of hard drive space. The 64-bit version of Windows 10 requires 32 gigs of hard drive space. Now, Windows 10 Pro version will install on 16 gigs of hard drive space, but um, you're not going to have any room left for Windows updates or installing anything or really anything at all. Like it will install, but at that point you're done and you've got a useless laptop at that point. So if you've got a big enough hard drive, cool, do your thing. If your Chromebook uh, hard drive or SSD or M.2 or whatever your Chromebook has can be upgraded, maybe consider that before you get started if you don't have the minimum requirements specified by Windows 10. So one of the other things that pops up uh, increasingly more regularly these days is you get the BIOS modified, you put your Windows 10 USB in, you reboot, and it takes you to just uh, a splash screen with just a blinking cursor um, and some code above it that doesn't seem to make any sense to anybody, and that's fine. And chances are that there's something wrong with your bootable media, whether it was the way it was created, maybe it's an incompatibility thing with the actual uh, USB uh, stick. I've had several people, including myself, find that if you switch USB sticks or ports, you have better results. But what seems to be more the culprit in this case is Windows 10 version 1809. Whether it's the ISO or the installation uh, media creator that you can download from Windows, the Windows website, for some reason 1809 is having a lot of issues in this particular situation, trying to install on a Chromebook. Um, the, the thing that I found that I've had better results with is finding a version of 1803. Um, I may make a video about that if enough people are interested, but um, but I found that version 1803, um, at least for me, has had a better chance of getting a successful install on a Chromebook. I get asked a, a lot of questions about, uh, well, why doesn't my, my trackpad or my keyboard work during this install? It's a driver issue. Um, if, if you want things, if you want to be able to do this, make sure that you've got a, a USB mouse and keyboard laying around that you can plug in and, um, at least during the installation process, because once you get everything installed and the Windows updates running, everything should start working again. There's just something during the install process um, that for some reason disables the mouse and keyboard on a lot of different devices. So have an external USB mouse, at least a mouse, and ready to go. 
um, for this process. You can, if, if you've done the right steps and you've verified that your Chromebook is compatible by going to the Coolstar website that I'll have linked below, as well as what I've already got linked in the description of my other videos, um, you can usually download uh, drivers for your device from there and get things working pretty easily as well. So that's another option that you can look into. And the last thing that I wanna touch on here real quick is tech support. If you've got a question or a comment or, or, or something, you need help, you've got advice, whatever, uh, leave that, that bit of information or that question or whatever on that video's comment section. But before you do that, be sure to read through the comments. I've answered the same questions hundreds of times in some cases. Um, so go read through the comments, see if somebody else has already asked your question. Um, if they have, maybe you'll find the answer. Uh, if they haven't asked the question, then cool, go ahead and, and leave that question or whatever there. But don't hit me up on Facebook or Twitter DMs or, or any of that, expecting me to drop what I'm doing and give you one-on-one -on -one help. I've had a lot of people do that recently. I've helped a couple of people and I've regretted it because I've had people take up literally days of my time. And again, that's my fault, but it's also the reason that I won't do it anymore. Um, if you've got a question or you need help, leave, leave that little bit of information again in the comment section. I'm very, very active in my comment section, so um, I can help you there, and it may also help somebody else. So use the comment section, don't DM me, don't private message me, don't expect me to stop what I'm doing during my day to give you one-on-one -on -one help. It's probably not gonna happen. Okay, so I think I think that pretty much covers everything I wanted to cover in this case. Um, I It was some stuff I needed to get off my chest and out into the world, and uh, I'm gonna start using this video as a reference point when somebody does one of these things, I'm just gonna refer them to that part of the video because it's 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 become such an issue with these things that um, I needed I needed to let you guys know uh, what's going on here. So if you're new to my channel and you're watching this, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, most of my videos are tech related, review related, uh, tutorials, how to's, things like that. Um, but every once in a while I have to throw out a little rant video like this. And uh, if you're into how to's and tutorials about, you know, things like Chromebooks or virtualization or Raspberry Pis, things like that, definitely hit the subscribe button and, and be sure to check out other videos that I've released on this channel. Um, I still may throw out the occasional rant video because sometimes you gotta rant a little bit. But yeah, so I think, I think that pretty much covers everything uh, that I needed to cover here. So uh, as always, thanks for your time. I always appreciate your support and I'll talk to you in the next video.